Hey everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to make a beautiful triangle shawl. And this shawl is part of my special series of patterns dedicated to my extended family, which are people born with the same red tumor as I have. You can read more about this on my blog. I will put the link to the written pattern in the description below. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, please subscribe to my channel and click on that bell button. This way you will receive notifications when I upload new free patterns. For this shawl you will need a gradient yarn cake and you will also need a 4mm crochet hook. We will start with a magic ring. Then we chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And then we work two more double crochet in the ring. And then we chain two. And we work three double crochet in the ring. And then we pull to close the ring. And this is our first row. In row two, we will chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. And we work two double crochet in the first stitch. Then we work one double crochet in each stitch till the center chain two space. And then we work a double crochet in the center chain two space. We chain two. And we work another double crochet in the center chain two space. So this is what we call a corner. And then we work a double crochet in each double crochet till the end. And we work three double crochet in the last stitch, which is the chain three from the previous row. So we work in the third chain. This is one. Two, three. In row three, we will chain four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we work a double crochet in the first stitch. Then we skip two stitches and work a v-stitch in the next stitch and a v-stitch means we work a double crochet chain one and a double crochet in the same stitch and then when you reach the corner you skip the last two stitches and work a v-stitch in the center chain two space Then we chain two and work another V stitch in the corner. So we now have a V stitch, a chain two and a V stitch in the center chain two space. 
Then we skip two stitches and work a V-stitch in the next stitch. We skip the last two stitches and work a V-stitch in the last stitch, which is the third chain from the previous row. In row 4, we will start with a chain 3 and work 2 double crochet in the first stitch. And then we work a single crochet in the next V stitch, which is this one, the chain 4 and the double crochet from the previous row. So we work a single crochet. And then we work a flower in the next V stitch, which is this one. And a flower is made by working 5 plus stitches and 4 picots and I will now show you how to do it. So you yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a long loop, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain 1 to finish the stitch. So this is your first puff stitch, then you chain 2. And work a slip stitch in the puff stitch. So now you have a puff stitch with a picot stitch on top. And we repeat this three more times. Last one. So now we have four puff stitches with a picot and then we work one more puff stitch but we won't work a picot after this one. So now we have five puff stitches and four picot. And this is what we call a flower. And then we work a single crochet in the next V stitch, which is this one. And then we work a flower in the center chain 2 space, which is here. So yeah, it looks like I'm working three chains. But the first chain is to finish the puff stitch and then we work two extra chains. So now I have four puff stitches and then the last one. And then we work a single crochet in the next V stitch, which is this one. And a flower in the next one. And then we work a single crochet in the last V stitch. And three double crochet in the last stitch, which is the third chain. One. Two, three, and then we have a beautiful row with flowers. In row five, we will chain three and work two double crochet stitches in the first stitch.
and then we work a front post double crochet in the next two double crochet so we insert the hook from the right to the left we finish it like a normal double crochet And then we work a front post double crochet in a single crochet. And then we work a front post double crochet in each puff stitch. And make sure when you insert your hook to pull the thread to you because the picot should be on the other side because we are working on the wrong side of your work. So the picot should be on this side. So just keep working front post double crochet and always make sure that the picot are on the right side of the work. And then we work a front post double crochet in a single crochet. And when you reach the center chain two space, you work a front post double crochet in the first two puff stitches. And then in the third puff stitch in the center chain two space, we will work a front post double crochet. We chain two and work another front post double crochet. And then we continue working a front post double crochet in the next two puff stitches in the center chain two space. And then we work a front post double crochet in the single crochet and a front post double crochet in the puff stitches and we continue doing this until the end of the row. And then a front post double crochet in the single crochet. And a front post double crochet in the last two stitches. And three double crochet in the third chain from the previous row. And this is what it looks like on the front. In row six, we chain three and we work two double crochet stitches in the first stitch. Then we work a double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we work a V-stitch before the first puff stitch. And we insert our hook here, so two rows below. So we work a double crochet. We chain one. And another double crochet and then we work a double crochet in the next stitch and then we continue the following till the center chain two space we work three double crochet stitches
And now we will work a front post treble crochet in the first double crochet of the V-stitch three rows below. So that's one row, two row, third row. So this is the V-stitch and this is the first double crochet. This is the second. So we yarn over twice, insert our hook from the back to the front. And we pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Then we work a half double crochet in the next stitch. You need to move this aside a little bit so you can see the next stitch. This is where we work the last stitch. So the half double crochet will be in this one. And then we chain one and we work a half double crochet in the next two stitches. And then we are going to work front post treble crochet around the second double crochet of the V-stitch. So we yarn over twice, insert our hook from the right to the left, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now work a double crochet in the next two stitches. And in the center chain two space, which is this one, we are going to work a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. And then we work a double crochet in the next two stitches. And we repeat the following till the end. A front post treble crochet in the first double crochet of the V-stitch, which is this one. A half double crochet in the next stitch. A chain one. A half double crochet in the next two stitches. And a front post treble crochet in the second double crochet. And then we work three double crochet. And now that we are at the end, we are going to work one more double crochet and work a V stitch after the last puff stitch. Work a double crochet in the last five stitches. And three double crochet in the third chain from the previous row. One, two, three. In row 7 we will chain 3, work 2 double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the next two stitches, then we chain 6. We skip the next six stitches, one, 
two, three, four, five, six. And we work a bubble in the next chain space. So usually bubble stitches are with five double crochet, but we are going to do seven double crochet because then you get nice and full bubbles. So we yarn over, insert the loop, 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 yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert hook, pull up loop, yarn over, pull through two. Repeat this five more times until you have seven double crochet on your hook. Seven. Now we yarn over and pull through all loops on our hook and chain one to secure the stitch. And then again we chain six. We chain six and work a bubble in the next chain space, which is over here. So at the end we chain six and work a bubble in the center chain two space. So if you don't have enough yarn, I recommend changing the bubbles to a normal bubble with five double crochet because it will save you a lot of yarn. Or if you're working with a bulkier yarn, you will notice that five double crochet instead of seven for a bubble stitch will be enough. We work six chains and work a bubble in the next chain space. Then we chain six. And work a bubble in the last chain space. At the end, we chain six. We skip the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. Work a double crochet in the last two stitches. and three double crochet in the third chain from the previous row. In row 8 we will chain 3 which counts as your first double crochet and 2 double crochet in the first stitch. Then we work a double crochet in the next 2 stitches. We skip the next 2 stitches and we work 6 double crochet in the next chain 6 space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six double crochet in the chain six space and we skip those two stitches. And then we work a front post double crochet around the puff stitch. And we work five double crochet in the next chain space. So one, two, three, four, And again, a front post double crochet around the puff stitch. And five double crochet in the next chain space. So in the center bubble, we will work a front post treble crochet. Chain two. And another front post treble crochet. Chain 
Then again, five double crochet in the next chain space. And a front post double crochet around the puff and we repeat this till the end. Front post double crochet around the puff. And now we are at the last chain space and we work six double crochet instead of five. Now we skip the next two stitches and work a double crochet in the last two stitches. And three double crochet in the last stitch. One. Two. Three. In row 9 we will chain 3, we work a double crochet in the first stitch, so only 1, not 2. We work a double crochet in the next stitch, and we work a single crochet in the next. Then we chain 8. We skip the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and we work a single crochet in the next stitch. Then again, we chain eight. We skip five stitches and work a single crochet in the next. One, two, three, four, five. And we repeat this to the center chain two space. And here is the center chain two space. So now we work eight chains. We skip the next three stitches and we work a double crochet. Chain two. And a double crochet in the center chain two space. Then again we chain eight. And then we skip three stitches, work a single crochet in the next, chain eight. Skip the next five stitches, work a single crochet in the next, and repeat this till the end. Then we work a double crochet in the next stitch and two double crochet in the last stitch, which is the third chain from the previous row. One, and two. In row 10 we will chain 3 and work a double crochet in the first stitch. Then we work a double crochet in the next two stitches. We will skip the single crochet 
and work six double crochet in the chain eight space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we repeat this to the center chain two space. So we work six double crochet in all the chain spaces. And six. And now we work a double crochet in the last double crochet. And then we work a double crochet. Chain two. Double crochet in the center chain two space. And then we work a double crochet in the next stitch. And then again, we work six double crochet in all the chain spaces. So I'll see you when I'm done here. Then we skip the next single crochet. We work a double crochet in the last two stitches. And we work two double crochet in the last stitch, which is the third chain. One, two. All you have to do now is repeat row three until row 10, as many times as needed. And I will now show you a stitch count overview. So you can see how many stitches you will need at the end of each row. And I will see you at the end. So once you're done, it's important to block your shawl. So simply said, blocking means that you pin your shawl in the correct shape. Then you spray it wet with water and just let it air dry. When it's dry, it will stay in this shape and I promise it will look so much better. Optionally, you can make some tassels and I will quickly show you how to make them. So I'm using the Clover Tassel Maker, but you can also use your phone or your hand. So simply just wrap the yarn around about 50 times. And that's it. I hope you guys like this tutorial. Please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which yarn and colors you are going to use. Hope to see you next time. Bye! <music>